The internet is a resource for freedom of expression and for the right to seek and impart information and ideas, regardless of frontiers. Access to it is essential for our everyday, professional and private lives. Without it, we are in a way homeless and senseless to many things around us. So much so that we are now hearing calls for a right to the internet. Access has become a necessity rather than a luxury. On Wednesday, December 3rd, the Council of Europe Deputy Secretary General launched an idea for a new multilateral treaty on certain minimum principles and states' undertakings, including positive obligations, to ensure the ongoing functioning of the Internet. This idea was also raised in respect of critical Internet resources in an IGF workshop earlier this week. It is also reflected in Spain's priorities as the new chair of the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe. The sense of the Deputy Secretary General's idea is that, despite the ownership and control of the machinery which brings us the Internet, there is a need for states to assure a shared responsibility for the functioning of the Internet. This is to ensure, for example, that malicious acts within the jurisdictional territory cannot block or significantly impede Internet access to or within fellow members of the international community. A new treaty would promote solidarity and cooperation between states to improve the quality of life and general well-being of all citizens. It would also underline the public value of the Internet beyond commercial interests in full respect of international law, including human rights law. In conclusion, access to the Internet and the security, privacy and openness of the Internet are a shared responsibility. Signing up to a new multilateral treaty which ensures the functioning of the Internet would be of fundamental importance to keep the Internet open and free in the best interests of our and future generations. Jan Kleissen from the Council of Europe with his emerging show. I see lots of hands.